Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this bowl cozy right here. It's made with 100% cotton yarn. So it is microwavable. So what you, you can do is if you have a bowl of soup, you can put your bowl cozy in here, your bowl into the cozy and put your soup in the microwave with the with this on it. For a you know, for amount of time that it would take to heat up a bowl of soup or some, you know, I wouldn't put it in there for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes or anything, but you know, a few minutes to heat up a bowl of soup is fine. And then these hang over a bit so you can pull it out like this, but you have to make sure that the yarn that you're using is 100% cotton. I can't stress that enough. You cannot use acrylic. It will not work in the microwave if you use acrylic. Um, I made it to fit, uh, it'll fit most size uh, cereal bowls. I tried it on a different, few different bowls, so it's pretty universal as far as cereal bowls go. Um, I'm not gonna say it's gonna fit all of them, but it will probably fit most of them. So um, it stands up if you take the bowl out of it, so you can stack multiples on top of each other, like that. And then it's got a little shell edging. And then I did it right on the bottom, but of course you can make it any color that you want and I want to take a minute to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already that way you never miss an update on any of my tutorials or any of my giveaways okay for this project I use I use two different brands of 100% cotton yarn it's for so that's what you don't have to use these brands any type 100% cotton will work but I can't stress enough it has to be 100% cotton. If you make it with something like acrylic, something other than cotton, I cannot guarantee that you will not get burnt or it will, it might melt in the microwave. I have no idea. So you must use 100% cotton in order for it to work. But what I use is peaches and cream in red, and then I used sugar and cream in Robin's egg color. But of course you can use any color that you want. Now I use two colors. You don't have to use two colors, but if you want to use two colors like me You're gonna need about a hundred yards of your main color, which is pretty close about three quarters of a full skein of This there's about 120 yards in here. So you're gonna need about a hundred yards of your main color probably 50 40 or so of 40 or 50 of your um, secondary color that is if you want to use uh, two different colors and then I am using a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And again, I want to stress it one more time to make sure you use 100% cotton. I cannot guarantee that you will not get burnt if you do not use it. So you want to start with a slip knot on your hook. We're going to start with the base. So whatever color you want to use for the base. I'm going to start with a chain of three. And you want to go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. You can use the magic circle here if you want. Now we're going to go ahead and chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. It does not count as anything. So now I'm going to work six single crochets through the center of my ring. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now you're going to need some type of a stitch marker. I'm just going to use this piece of yarn here. Now you want to put it right here. That way you know where you end and where you begin. So now we're going to go ahead and single crochet into our first single crochet over here. Not the chain one we did, but the first single crochet. So a good idea would be to count backwards from your last stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. That way you go into the right stitch. So go right in to that first single crochet and we're going to work two single crochets into that same stitch. So there's one and two. 
This is starting round two. So there's two single crochets there. <clears throat> now we're going to work two single crochets in every stitch until we get back to our stitch marker. Okay, when you make it back to your stitch marker at the end of round two, you should have a total of 12 single crochets now. Now what we're going to do is take our stitch marker out and move it right back up. And we're going to go around and we're going to start round three. Round three is we're going to put one single crochet into the first stitch. and then two single crochets into the next stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch, and then two single crochets in the next. And that's what we're going to repeat until we get back to our stitch marker. One single crochet into the next stitch, and then two single crochets into the next one single crochet into the next and then two single crochets now let's go ahead and finish out here one single and then two singles and single and then your last stitch should have two single crochets in it. And now you should have a total of 18 stitches at the end of round three. So now we're going to move our stitch marker, pull it out and move it up. We're going to start round four. And we're going to put one single crochet into the first two stitches. So one single crochet into the next stitch. And then one single crochet into the next. And in the next stitch, you'll get two single crochets into the same stitch. Then one single crochet into the next two stitches. So there's one, one, and then two single crochets into the next. And that's the repeat this time around. One single crochet into the next two stitches. and then two single crochets into the next. And you want to repeat that until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, when you make it to the end of row four, you should have ended in two single crochets. You should have a total of 24 stitches now. Go ahead and pull your stitch marker up. Now we're gonna go around again. This time we're gonna put one single crochet into the next three stitches. So there's one. Two, three, and then two single crochets into the next. One single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then two single crochets into the next. And that's to repeat for round five. One single crochet into the next three and then two single crochets in the next all the way until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round five and you should have ended with two single crochets into that last stitch and you should have a total of 30 stitches now. I'm gonna pull our stitch marker up and now we're gonna continue round six by putting one single crochet into the next four stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. One single crochet into the next four stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. 
And we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back around at the end of round six. You should have ended with two single crochets in your last stitch. And now you should have a total of 36 stitches. And it's okay if it's starting to become kind of cone shaped. It'll flatten out the more rounds that we do. Okay, we're going to move our stitch marker up. Round seven. You probably know what I'm going to say. <laughs> it's going to be one single crochet into the next five stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. One single crochet into the next five. And then two single crochets into the next. And we're going to go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back around to the end of round seven. Two single crochets, it was in my last stitch. I should have a total of 42 stitches now. Go ahead and move my stitch marker up. And we're gonna start round eight by putting one single crochet into the next six stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. And that's a repeat now for round eight. One single crochet into the next six stitches and then two single crochets in the next all the way back around to our stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round eight. I ended in two single crochets in my last stitch. Total of 48 stitches now. So we're gonna go ahead and move your stitch marker up. And for round nine, we're gonna go ahead and start by putting one single crochet into the first seven stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. So that's a repeat for round nine. One single crochet in the next seven, and then two single crochets into the next and repeat that all the way back to the beginning or to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round nine. 54 stitches at the end of the round. Go ahead and move your stitch marker up. Now we're gonna start round 10, which will be the last round of the base. So we're gonna go ahead and put one single crochet into the next eight stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. So we're gonna go ahead and repeat that all the way around. One single crochet in the next eight, and then two single crochets in the next until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, I'm coming to the end of round 10. Now I'm gonna do a color change. Now I'm on my last stitch and I should end with two single crochets in that last stitch. I put one and I'm gonna go ahead and put the second one, but this is where I'm gonna change colors. So I'm gonna go into the same stitch from my second single crochet into that last stitch, and I'm gonna pull my yarn through, and then I'm gonna drop that color, and I'm gonna pull my new color through like that. And then I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm going to tie the two ends together into a knot so they don't come undone while I'm working with them. Go ahead and clip that red color off, or your main color off, like that and now we went ahead and switch colors and now you can move your stitch marker up like that and now what we're going to do is continue with our new color we went ahead and move our stitch marker up and now we're just going to work one single crochet in every stitch around Just like this. So no more increasing for a while. 
it's one single crochet in every stitch now with the color change you'll be able to see there will be a little bit of a divot there where you since we're working in a round where you did a color change there's not really much you can do about that but if you don't want a color change you would just move your stitch marker up and continue working your one single crochet in every stitch around but if you want a color change there will be that that little uh, divot of the row because we're working in a round so but it's not that big of a deal so we're just going to continue working one single crochet in every stitch around until we get back to the beginning okay I've made it back around to my stitch marker at the end of round 11 and you should have 60 stitches still so go ahead and move your marker up and we're going to go ahead and continue working rounds of one single crochet in every stitch now you want to put your first single crochet into this single crochet not the chain one so would you go ahead and jump to the first single crochet and single crochet and now for round 12 it's just continuing working rounds of one single crochet in every stitch now we're going to work rounds of one single crochet in every stitch until you hit a total of 18 rounds altogether. So we're working on round 12 right now. So you want to do one single crochet in every stitch. You do round 12, one single crochet, back to your stitch marker, move it up. Then you do again, round 13, one single crochet in every stitch, move your stitch marker up, all the way until you get to round 18. So I'm going to go keep working rounds of one single crochet in every stitch until I get to round 18. Remember, we're on round 12 right now. Okay, I have made it to the end of round 18, and you still should have 60 stitches. So go ahead and move your stitch marker up. Now we're going to do increases again. So we're going to go ahead and put one single crochet into the next nine stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. And we're going to repeat that. One single crochet into the next nine. And then two single crochets in the next. And we're going to repeat that all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back to my stitch marker. At the end of round 19, I ended with two single crochets into my last stitch. Go ahead, and you should have 66 stitches now at the end of round 19 move your stitch marker up and now we're going to put one single crochet into the next 10 stitches and then two single crochets into the next so that's a repeat now for round 20. One single crochet into the next 10, and then two single crochets into the next, all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 20, and now you should have 72 stitches. You should end it with two single crochets. Go ahead and pull your stitch marker up, and we'll start round 21 by putting one single crochet into the next 11 stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. And that's a repeat now for round 21. One single crochet into the next 11. And then two single crochets into the next. All the way back around to your stitch marker. 
Okay, I've come to in around 21, 78 stitches total. Go ahead and move your stitch marker up. We'll start round 22 by putting one single crochet into the next 12 stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. So that's the repeat now for round 22. One single crochet in the next 12, and then two single crochets in the next until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 22, 84 stitches. Go ahead and pull your stitch marker up. Now it's one single crochet in the next 13. 15 stitches And then two single crochets into the next. And that's a repeat this time around for round 23. One single crochet in the next 13 stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. Back to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to end of row 23. 93 stitches. Or 90 stitches, I'm sorry, is what you should have. 90. Now I'm going to go ahead and change colors again. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch. Here's my stitch marker. Go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch and clip this yarn off. So 90 stitches now. Clip that yarn like that. Now you want to have the right side of your work facing you. You can see it. Okay, to start your round your yarn for round 24, you got your this is the right side of your work. Flip it upside down. And we're going to be working kind of like this where this is the wrong side the right side facing up over here so flip it up and we're going to start this was the last single crochet we did we can remove that stitch marker we don't need that anymore this was the last single crochet we did and this was the one right before it so if you turn it around you can see here's the stitch that we put two single crochets in right here there's one there and one there we're going to start in the first one that we put the first single crochet when we put two in the same stitch. So it's the second from the last single crochet. So turn it around. So here's the last single crochet we just did. And we're going to start in the second to the last one right there. All right. And we're going to start our yarn. And we're going to chain one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start off by putting two single crochets into that same stitch. So we're kind of working backwards now. So two single crochets into that stitch. And now we're going to put one single crochet into the next 14 stitches. And then we're going to put two single crochets into the next. And that's a repeat now for round 24. One single crochet into the next 14 stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. We're going to repeat that all the way around until we get back right over here to where we started. 
Okay, I made it back around to the end of row 24. And you should have a total of 96 stitches now. And you want to go ahead and end with the slip stitch into your first single crochet. Like that. And now we're going to do some shell for row 25. This will be our last row. We're going to do some shell edging. So we're going to chain one. And I'm going to work back in the same stitch. I'm going to work a double crochet. And then another double crochet. And then I'm going to put a, put a pico on this double crochet. So I'm going to chain three. And I'm going to come back down. And I usually, you can slip stitch. Some people slip stitch into the first chain. I always go like right here through the side of the stitch. I think it holds the pico better. Just like that. And that puts that little ball. Now I go ahead and put one more double crochet back in that oh. same stitch. Just like that. So what I did was a double cro two double crochets, a pico, and another double crochet. So it was like three double crochets, and a pico was in the middle one. So now I'm going to skip one stitch, and I'm going to slip stitch into the next. So skip one, slip stitch into the next. And now I'm going to skip one, and I'm just going to do th skip one, and now I'm just going to do three regular double crochets into the next. No pico is on this one. Just three double crochets like that skip one stitch slip stitch into the next and then skip one stitch and three regular double crochets into the next so no pico on this one either just three double crochets skip one stitch slip stitch into the next skip one stitch and three regular double crochets into the next so no pico on this one either and now I'm gonna skip one stitch slip stitch into the next and now I'm going to skip one stitch again. And now I'm going to do the shell with the pico. So I'm skipping one. And in the next one I'm going to do two doubles. There's one and two. And then I'm going to chain three for my pico. Go back down and slip stitch right here. And that puts that little pico or that little point on there. And then I'm going to do one more double. So it was three doubles, but the pico is in the center one, like that. So I'm just going to kind of repeat that. If you look, you can see that the um, bowl kind of has little points where you put the two double crochets. That's where your picots go. So again, I'm just going to, your pico shells. So I'm going to skip one, slip stitch into the next. Skip one and do a regular shell so that's just three double crochets skip one slip stitch into the next skip one and regular shell three doubles skip one slip stitch Skip one, regular shell, three doubles, skip one, slip stitch, skip one, and now it's a shell with a pico in it. So two doubles, chain two, or chain three, I'm sorry. Go right back down, slip stitch right there into the top. And then one more double. And now I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around. And if you look at what I got, there'll be three regular shells in between each of the pico shells. Can you see what I got there? So just repeat that back around to the beginning. Okay, once you make it all the way around, you should have one stitch left to skip. Go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first double crochet of that first shell 
and then you can tie that off hide any remaining tails and that is it you should have 24 shells at the end of that last round pull up my camera a bit i got some tails to hide but <clears throat> kind of straighten out your shells there it is i think it turned out nice I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That way, um, when you subscribe, if you hit that little bell, you'll never, you'll always get emailed every time I put a new video on. And until next time, have a good day.